Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna show you a way to make seamless CC Sphere textures, and I'll show you what that means. So you rotate your CC Sphere effect and see the gross pucker in the center. So you go to your texture comp, you add a new adjustment layer, duplicate it two times, so there's three, grab the bottom one, add the polar coordinates effect to it with effects console, set it to polar to rectangular, turn the interpolation to 100%, grab your rectangular mask tool, draw a mask around the bottom two thirds, set it to subtract, add a feather of about, say 150, and we can grab our second adjustment layer, add the mirror effect to it, set the mirror to about uh, 90 degrees, and then we're going to grab the rectangular mask tool again, draw a mask around the center, set it to subtract, same as before, and add a feather of about 200. Now we can grab our third and final adjustment layer, add the offset effect to it, make sure it's set to zero in the X coordinate, then draw a mask isolating the seam in the center. Set it to subtract, hit F, set the feather to say about 150. Now you go back to your main comp and the seam and pucker are both gone and you can rotate your sphere whichever way you like. Now, my favorite part about this technique is that these adjustment layers are essentially turning anything beneath them into a usable texture map for the sphere. So I can grab any texture here. I just have a few that I imported. I'm gonna grab this ground one, drag it and drop it just above the fractal noise. It's a bit big, so I'm gonna scale it down so it fits our comp better. And you can see that the adjustment layers are turning it into that spherical map. And I'll show you, it already lines up perfectly on the sphere, which is pretty cool because you can use this for pretty much any arbitrary grunge type texture. Now, here's a good question. What about a texture like these tiles that have predefined lines that can't be feathered together without looking bad? Well, I'll walk you through how to do that. So here I have an adjustment layer with polar coordinates and the mirror effect set together because we're going to overlay another instance of our tiles on top, which is just a thin strip set down the middle. But that's gonna cause one issue. If we zoom in here, you can see that these lines aren't lining up. So I just added a mesh warp effect and tweak the texture a bit so that way everything goes together smoothly. Now we can finish this up the exact same way we did the other one with a new adjustment layer, the offset effect set to zero in the X coordinate, mask down the center to isolate the seam set to subtract. And with the CC sphere effect applied, you have yourself a seamless texture. So that's about all I had to show you guys today. So don't forget to like if you learned something, consider subscribing, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.